with our nation already facing a dwindling demand for vaccinations. Tonight, potentially millions of Johnson & Johnson doses are sitting on shelves set to soon expire. In two weeks, 200,000 shots in Ohio may need to be tossed out. West Virginia has some 25,000 doses nearing expiration. We all know this is a precious resource, and it's a precious resource across the world, so it would be a pity to see some of them have to go to waste. The J&J &J dose is coveted around the world because of its easy storage at, say, a doctor's office, and it's one and done dose. But after a safety concern and a pause in its use, its popularity plummeted. Of the more than 21 million J&J &J doses distributed nationwide, nearly half have not yet been administered. States are asking the White House for a way to quickly coordinate their redistribution, as authorities also look to prolong their storage beyond three months. Still, the nation's biggest hurdle remains vaccine hesitancy. I haven't taken the vaccine, and the reason is I don't trust it. In parts of Alabama, less than 15% of residents are fully vaccinated, even as authorities warn the Delta variant, the most contagious of the pandemic, may next threaten the U.S. I made it this far without getting COVID, and I don't need to get vaccinated, but eventually we all gonna have to get vaccinated, but I'm cool right now. It took the loss of Antonio Lyle's mother to COVID for him to get vaccinated. I got vaccinated two days after my mom passed. She passed the 21st, I got a appointment the 22nd. Tonight, the push to vaccinate and the race not to waste critical doses. Miguel Almaguer, NBC News. A reminder, you can make a plan for when and where to get vaccinated. Visit planyourvaccine.com for more. In just Plan your agenda somewhere else.